we had this discussion a little earlier before uh, we went to break in the last hour as it relates to law and order. We were talking about the uh, the Louisville, the bank, the national, uh, the bank killer, and how the parents of the killer did an interview with the Today Show on NBC. And they were saying they were, they said that they don't, do not believe that their son should have been able to, to legally buy his rifle. And in the interview that they gave, they said that there, they simultaneously said two conflicting things, that there was absolutely no tell, that was their direct quote, and then also simultaneously that he has gone through crises, that, uh, mental health, he was going through a mental health crisis. She liter- the, the mother had literally said there was no clear tell, and then had also said that, well, he, uh, we, we were concerned because he had been going through difficult, you know, a difficult time. He had been going through, you know, previously gone through a crisis. Is that that was the word that they had used, crisis? So I'm not quite sure how you reconcile those two things. Now, the father had said that they want to they want to stimulate conversation around how their son apparently was able to legally purchase his rifle. And added that he believed that the quote overwhelming majority of people don't want people in an impaired state to have a weapon in their hand. That was his direct quote. But you know the the first people who have to want that are you and the the, the people in their immediate circle. I mean, how do you go from there wasn't a clear sign to, or how do you go from oh my gosh our tri- our our adult son's in a crisis to well there wasn't a clear tell. How do you go from one to the other? I mean, to me, that doesn't make sense. Uh, what, what level of engagement was there that you weren't able to tell? <laughs> I, I mean, if you think that, that people don't want someone who is going to be a danger to themselves or others to have a weapon in their hand, then why don't you do something about it? You do something about it. And there are so many options at your disposal without having to have red flag laws. I mean, good heavens. But that never comes up in this conversation. Like the mother had said, you know, it's happening to other people like us and we're continuing to let it happen and we have to fix that. And they added, well, well well-meaning people say to us, you know, you did what any reasonable parents would have done. I was always told in this conversation whenever something like this would happen, Like after Parkland, I, and after really, after Sandy Hook, I was criticizing the family of the killer in Sandy Hook. And that was just beyond, that was out of bounds to gun control activists who had no problem blaming people that they had never met, who've never committed a single crime in their lives for tragedy. But heaven forbid you ask where the people are in that individual's immediate circle. Why didn't they act? You're not allowed to ask that. You're not allowed to discuss it. You're not allowed to ask the question. But yet, you know, at the same time, you're supposed to be responsible for every, for when tragedies take place. But in all of this, you know, I, no, at no point did Savannah Guthrie at NBC press back on these parents and go, well, then why didn't you do something? Okay, you just mentioned that your son had been in a crisis. How do you go from crisis to there was no tell? I mean, what a that's just crappy interviewing. That's just a bad interviewer. Are you just what are you daydreaming while you're having the Q and A? Like, what are you doing? You're not engaged. How do you not follow up with those questions? That's just bad journalism. It's bad interviewing. Some people are just bad at interviews. How do you not follow up with that? How do you not say, well, why didn't you, did you move to to try to explore adjudication of ineligibility? Did you have a protective order filed? I mean, there are a million things to, a handful, I mean, really, there's a lot of stuff they can do. Why didn't they do any of it? Why does everyone else have to pay because you didn't act? 